For more videos on people's struggles, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Government has got a moral responsibility of defending and protect its citizens. Mm. Government has got a moral responsibility to protect its workers in its own country. demonstration today is simply nothing but to actually uh, outline the cries of the workers so that uh, it could be perceived by the, the sitting uh, Minister of, 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 um, of Finance as he delivers his budget speech today. It's concerning that today we're going to be hearing a budget speech which will now start allocating funds. What are they allocating those, those funds based on when we have actually tabled our problems as, as the workers into the Labour Court which needs to see to the decision of freezing the wage bill as well as cutting our workers. Comrades, this is the day in which we are out as served to in a national stay away at the same time having coordinated some of the bigot to simply highlight that it is the capitalist system that allows arrogant bosses mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It is this system that breeds non-compliance. It is the system of capitalism that breeds no respect for workers' rights. So we are supporting that NUPSO, the health workers in all health sectors, must be given PPEs. Yeah. The frontline workers must be given proper PPEs. Well, it's now called employment and labor. I don't know which employment, mm. because there's no employment. This Department of Labor, over time, it has become a dumping site of incompetent, useless ministers. Yeah. 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 Workers are not taken seriously. We are not taken seriously. So we worry about this character, that the right thing will be done. Comrades, we want jobs. We want employment. What we will never allow is for those jobs to be at the expense of our lives as Africans and black labor. Yes. We must refuse to do that. Yes. We yes. want investments, but we don't want investment that we must use our brothers and sisters to pay for those investments. We want to urge the Department of Labor to say that government has got a moral responsibility of defending and protect its citizens. Mm. Government has got a moral responsibility to protect its workers Ooh. in its own country. <laughs> if government is not going to protect us, who must protect us? Who? <laughs> It was absolutely unnecessary. There is absolutely no reason to use that kind of force. A provincial secretary that they just threw ceremoniously into the into the police vehicle. He had just suffered a stroke recently, and we asked him to release them. There was absolutely no law that was broken. I was part of that scuffle with the police officers, and they attacked us first. They have been shown from the beginning. They have not been interested in resolving the standoff peacefully. That has never been their intention. <laughs>